So now let's review the 2019 Monaco Grand Prix, which of course has took uh, took place today in Monaco. It was a pretty good race and a very intense finish happened indeed between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen in this Grand Prix. Now, if you don't know the results again, here they are. Hamilton winning from Vettel second, Bottas third, Verstappen fourth, Gasly fifth, Carlos Sainz in P6, Kvyat seventh, Albert eighth, uh, Ricardo ninth, and Grosjean tenth. And then not scoring points, Norris, Magnussen, Perez, Hulkenberg, Russell, Stroll, Raikkonen, Kubica, and Giovinazzi. And your only retirement is Charles Leclerc. But now let's get into the teams. First off, Mercedes. A great tribute for Nicky Lauda is this win from Lewis Hamilton. For me, driver of the day has to be Hamilton because to hold on on worn medium tyres for as long as he did, it was, what, 63, 65 laps, a very long time for, um, for Lewis Hamilton. And to hold on for that long and to not crack under pressure and get the win shows why he is the best driver on the grid and shows also why... He is leading the Drivers' Championship now by 17 points from Valtteri Bottas. A great for him and a great day for Mercedes. Bottas third. He will be disappointed because if he had not uh, been jumped by Max Verstappen after the unsafe release in the pits, I think Bottas could have gone for Hamilton and been right there with him. So disappointing for Valtteri, but I guess just unlucky with how things happened in the pits but for the team even though they didn't get a sixth consecutive one to finish still a great day for them and again for that team a great tribute to the late great nicky lauda next up ferrari good day for ferrari well at least for one of their drivers sebastian vettel getting ferrari's best finish of 2019 p2 uh, not too far behind lewis hamilton in the end and I think Vettel drove well. Uh, he was consistent, stayed in there in the fight, was right there in case any contact or crashing happened between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. And I think does deserve to finish in P2. A good drive from Vettel. And I think things are looking a bit more positive for Ferrari in terms of speed from their car after this Grand Prix. Hopefully with Vettel, they can build on that for the next Grand Prix. For Charles Leclerc though, uh, well, a very disappointing race. Started in 15th, got past Lando Norris quickly uh, on lap two, I think, at the Lowe's hairpin, then passed Roman Grosjean at Raskas, tried the same with Nico Hulkenberg, but hit Hulkenberg and the inside wall, and uh, because he hit the inside wall, got a puncture on his right rear tyre, that caused massive damage to his floor and tyre, it even brought out a safety car because of the amount of debris on track. And his race from then was pretty much over. So disappointing for Leclerc. But if Ferrari had not made such a critical mistake in qualifying, he wouldn't have had to do that. So yeah, you can blame Leclerc for today and I will. But also Ferrari have to share the blame as well. But yeah, good day for Ferrari compared to what it was yesterday. Next up is Red Bull. Good day for them. Uh, Max Verstappen ending up finishing P4, but on track he finished in P2 right behind Lewis Hamilton. He drove so, so well. Gave it everything, but it was not enough to get past Hamilton on track or build you know, enough of a gap to get the win at Monaco. But great drive from, uh, from Max nonetheless. And I think continues to show... Uh, why he has been one of the best drivers, if not the best driver so far in 2019. For Pierre Gasly, finishing P5 after starting P8 because of the penalty for blocking and qualifying. Good race. Good race. I can't fault him for anything. Uh, he also got the fastest lap point, so good points there for the team. And I think a good race there for Pierre. Good race for Red Bull. And they continue to hunt down Ferrari in the constructors but now let's go on to the midfield Renault first uh Ricardo was really looking good in the midfield battle after the first lap past Magnussen around the outside at turn one great move 
and was looking good in P5. Then the safety car came out and mistakenly Renault pitted him when they should not have because once he pitted, he came out in traffic when the safety car came back in and lost basically two pit stops worth of time to drivers such as Pierre Gasly, Carlos Sainz, Danny Kvyat and Alexander Albon. He did get Grosjean uh, at the end of the race because Grosjean got a penalty um, for crossing the pit line or the pit um, exit line uh, at the uh, at the run-up casino square. So disappointing there for Grosjean, who we'll get onto in a moment. But I think Ricardo, in terms of his own driving, did the best he could. But the team definitely screwed him over there. And for Hulkenberg, well, um, a very meh kind of Grand Prix. Nothing really happened for him. I mean, yeah, he had contact with Leclerc, and that did hurt his race. And then after a blocking of the track between... Um, Kubitz and Giovinazzi after they crashed that didn't help his cause but he didn't really have the, uh, the speed to get into the points anyway so a better race for Renault than they had in Spain but it could have been a whole lot better and it should have been next up McLaren great day for McLaren uh, Lando Norris was P11 but Carlos Sainz finishing in P6 and McLaren continue to pull away in the constructors Championship in P4, great day for them. Carlos was very good today. Really just drove consistently, had great pace. Wasn't at times quick enough to be in the position he was in, but because it's Monaco, he held on ahead of drivers such as Danny Kvyat and um, Alexander Albon. So great drive by Carlos Sainz, who we know famously is great at Monaco. Norris... I think he'll be okay with how he did, but his pace after the safety car restart was very, very bad. And I think he definitely does have to work out just how that happened because, yeah, his pace after the safety car restart was shocking. He was losing seconds a lap, the cars ahead of him. So he does have to improve his pace, but great day for McLaren. Hopefully they continue to build on it. Next up is Alfa Romeo. Terrible day for Alpha. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi both had poor starts and were back there with the Williamses at the start. Then uh, with Kimi Raikkonen, after staying out a long time, he did get up to P11, but then because he was on soft tyres for about 40-odd laps, had a massive train behind him and eventually did pit, but it was too late for him to come back through the field because he lost so much time. Uh, through staying out on those soft compound tyres. So terrible for Raikkonen on his 300th Grand Prix and also terrible for Giovinazzi. That's their worst race alpha of the season by a mile. And for Canada, they definitely do have to improve. Uh, for Giovinazzi also, uh, he did hit Kubica at the Raskas, which did block the track for a, a bit. And it was definitely his fault. Giovinazzi was definitely at fault. But I will get onto more of that in the incident analysis of the Monaco Grand Prix tomorrow at 12 p.m. UK time. Next up is Haas. Haas, they didn't have a good enough day for me. Uh, Kevin Magnussen starting P5, lost position to Ricardo at the start, was looking good, uh, still in the first stint, was right behind Ricardo, but then pitted under the safety car, and that proved to be a terrible decision as he got held up behind all of those cars such as Norris and Hulkenberg and all those drivers and Ricardo and Raikkonen and lost a lot of time and ended up finishing in P12. He had the, uh, the pace, did uh, Kevin Magnussen, to get into the points but because his team uh, screwed him over with the strategy, couldn't do anything about it. Uh, for Grosjean, he will be disappointed to finish P10, but I think he'll be okay with a points finish because he did start in 13th and did well to get into the points and show the pace needed to do so. Uh, but considering how good qualifying was, Haas should be disappointed with how they've done here. Um, it was a better race this year than it was last year for them, but it could have really been better for them today than it was. Next up, Toro Rosso, who had a great day. This was, without a doubt, the team's best day of 2019 so far. P7 and P8. Didn't really do anything in the Grand Prix, 
just had very good and consistent pace throughout the race and yeah finished p7 and p8 and i think now are right on renault's tail for p8 in the constructors might even be past renault at this point so great there for toro rosso and they are really becoming a dark horse in that midfield going forward and hopefully they continue to improve with two at the moment very good drivers and racing point next up um yeah kind of a a better race than it was expected to be in terms of where they finish but still not that good the racing point card just isn't good enough i think once we get to canada they will do better because that track will suit their car better but here it just doesn't suit their car and their car is not far enough along um to really compete with teams like mclaren and toro rosso right now so yeah not good for racing point and hopefully they can turn things around finally it's williams williams um a good result with russell finishing in i believe 15th russell i have to say one of the drivers of the day but yeah williams having not a bad finish and the pace was not too bad either hopefully they can build on that but that is it for the 2019 monaco grand prix and hopefully you guys uh, will definitely be joining us for the next race in montreal canada in two weeks time